how to transfer the data from the Google Form into Excel. First, let us consider this research entitled Benefits, Challenges, and Expected Improvement from the Students' Perspective on Their Post-Pandemic Experiences in Online Class. To have further ideas, let us also consider the soft copy of this research in MS Word here. And of course, we need also to open the Excel. So let's go back to the Google Form. Let us try to analyze all the particular parts. We have part 1, demographic profile, sex and age. And part 2 is more on the personal responses of your respondents. As you can see in MS Word, we have the personal responses as perceived benefits, perceived challenges, perceived technology related challenges, and expected improvements from students' perspective. So all in all, there are 40 items. For each category, there are 10 items. So, instead of writing all of this category, we're going to use the mnemonic device, such as choosing the first letter of each category. Okay, so let's go back with our Google Form. Now, in order for us to get all the information of 46, because there are 46 responses, so expectedly, we have 46 respondents click the responses and then click the individual these numbers mean the first respondent if we click here the second respondent answers and to the last 46th respondent so let's go back to first respondent and these are now all of the first responses on this google form survey questionnaire okay so here we have section age Go back to our Excel, to the first column and first row. Let us put respondents. Put all 1, 2, 3, to 46 respondents. Okay, let us assume that we already encoded those respondents into 46. Then the second column, go back to our Google form, is about the demographic profile, sex and age. So let's go back. We have put sex and then the age okay then after that we have now the personal responses in uh, this question form with one two three four five likert scale for us to know the likert scale let's go back to the ms word copy we have one for the strongly disagree and five is strongly agree then after that let's go back to the google form since i am able to complete refers to the PB or the perceived benefits instead of writing all of this word we're going to simply get P and B that means this item so we have 10 go back to our Excel so PB1 PB2 3 8 9 and 10 the same process, go back to the MS Word copy, we have PC, uh, perceived challenges, so that's also 10 items, so PC1, PC2, 3, 8, 9, 10, 3, 8, 9, and 10. Another category is the perceived ch technology related challenges, so choose PT, so we have PT1, PT2, PT3, 8, then 9 then 10 okay correction that is that then after that the last category it's about expected improvement so EI or you can also choose E okay E1 E2 E3 and E8 E9 and E10 so let's go back to the second rows and second column sex so assuming we have 46 respondents here so in order for us to express all the data into numbers we're going to use the coding for the demographic profile such as the sex so coding okay so coding spelling coding so we have sex male one female 2 there's no standard about who is the male 
or female it's up to you if you're going to choose female as one and male as two as long as you express those demographic into numbers on the other hand about the age it's already into numeric so no need to write it everything here so let's go back to the this uh, portion so the sex is the first respondent is female so here is two age is 23 just press 23 her answer for the first question is strongly agree and we know that is five second strongly agree that is also five third moderately that is three fourth that is three five and that is strongly disagree which is one six strongly disagree one um, disagree that is two moderately agree that is three p9 moderately three and p10 is strongly disagree which is one you're going to fill in the other items by doing the same process example so since uh, this is now the second category 11 which is one we have strongly agree we can write five by press five there encode three then 13 is strongly agree that is five and three okay so by doing this you're able to fill in all of the answers for the respondent one then after you finish until to the last column here example the last column is five or her answer for nine is four something like that then let's proceed to the second respondent and how to get it so go going back to the responses here one then it's two okay now this is now the second respondent okay mail so we're going to put one here age is 28 then his answer for one is agree which is four two agree is two three moderately or rather that is agree which is four pb4 the four is agree which is four also moderately six disagree which is two strongly disagree one eight um, strongly disagree one moderately agree moderately agree strongly agree okay strongly agree is five and uh, pc2 is agree uh, that is four okay just finish this uh, third more columns okay 13 is moderately like three 14 is uh, strongly agree that is five and this is agree that is four again doing so we have to finish all of these columns by writing one to five that is the Likert scale then after that of course save it save to your desktop okay desktop and then sample for pilot or that like that or or if it is final just put final data and then save save so here you fill in all of the necessary information based on our survey questionnaire and of course from our google form that is how we transfer datas from google form into excel thank you and god bless everyone